Yeah, life was a lot better until that day. And then wham. I woke up. My whole left side was completely numb. I had no idea what was going on. They ended up doing um, an MRI on me. The good news is we know what the problem is. The bad news is um, it's a significant, there's a significant tumor uh, pressing against uh, her, frontal, her frontal lobe. My heart just completely dropped. The first thing I thought of was my daughter. We were obviously all shocked, scared, devastated, all those things at the same time. Dr. Walter decided he was going to go in and do an emergency surgery. It was very scary and I didn't know like what to expect. The surgery actually went extremely well and she was in recovery. And then Val started to have seizures. She had seizures that wouldn't stop no matter what we did. The next pro level of protocol really was we need to uh, induce a medical coma and really give that brain a chance to rest and relax. After you've done that acute intervention and the patient is in the ICU, it's really the next several days to sometimes weeks that will determine the patient's overall outcome. We wanted to make sure that patients who are coming in with a stroke, a tumor in the brain, uh, seizures, that they have a ICU that's dedicated to managing those disorders. Here at the University of Rochester, we've created a neurocritical care unit. We have all the elements, the providers, the infrastructure, the residents, the trainees, the uh, research, and the multidisciplinary approach. Every day trying to push the envelope in terms of better outcomes and effective care. Hi, Jen. Hello. Are you in pain? What distinguishes a neuro ICU from uh, other ICUs is a team all specially trained to manage these types of disorders. The team starts with a specialized, trained bedside critical care nurse who's also trained in neurocritical care. The nurse is an extension of the physician in terms of examining the patients. One of the big things in neurocritical care is to closely watch the neurological exam. So the nurse plays a big role in that regard. We're also specially trained to manage the critical illnesses that can arise in these patients such as an infection, a cardiac event, fluid on the lungs. The commitment of Strong to the family, in addition to this integrated team that they've built, speaks volumes, I think. They just really cared, so that, that meant the world to us. They helped us get through this on a daily basis. There were days that, literally, I would be in the chair crying. Uh, I couldn't even talk. One of the biggest things that we provided to the family uh, was reassurance and hope. Um, I had come from a background where we took care of a number of patients like this. That experience has allowed us to be able to talk to families about how we're going to approach this and how we're going to take this one day at a time. Some of his most difficult patients, months and months in comas, and how they're living productive lives today. They brought us that hope that we just, you become a family. We loved them and they were part of our family. Families play a huge role uh, in um, helping these patients through their critical illness. Uh, we have patients that stay in the intensive care unit uh, anywhere from three weeks to six months. Valerie's family, you know, they were there every day, uh, keeping a close eye on her, working with us in her recovery. Over a period of days that turned into weeks, that turned into actually 69 days. The design of this particular unit not only is focused on the patient, is focused on the family. Uh, it creates enough space for the family members to stay overnight if they want to. Uh, during rounds, we welcome family members to participate in rounds. They were interested in our eyes and ears, kind of in the room being there 24-7. The Neuro ICU, we have adopted this philosophy of being very aggressive. It took heroic amounts of effort, medications, novel therapies, and time to be able to take her through this really dark place and bring her out to the other side. Val started to come awake and couldn't even move a finger. We got the first smile and long-term memory, short-term memory, everything's perfectly intact. Valerie um, was transported to another facility for rehab. We went back the end of April and they were so happy. There was a lot of hugs and excitement. laughter and excitement. 
Life is great now. I'm able to be with my daughter. I'm not able to work yet, but I'm working really hard in outpatient rehab, trying to be able to do what I was able to do before. Every day is a blessing. We do things as a family again, and it's just a true miracle. The staff, the doctors, the nurses at Strong, if it wasn't for them, honestly, I don't know where I would be right now. I don't know where I'd be.